this. I am so happy. I don't know if people are familiar with pomegranates. I think they're wonderful. I like to eat them. You, know, you only eat the seeds. It's the whole pomegranate. And they're beautiful this year. And it's, it's really nice to see them come out. <laughs> Pomegranate. Okay. It's really nice to see them come out. Um, like I said, they, they look absolutely beautiful this year. Uh, it, it's nice to get them fresh. And what you do, you don't, you know, <laughs> you eat the seeds or the uh, ARLs. Okay. We're going to go ahead and uh, start this. Uh, I just got regular rice. We're going to... Um, or a, this is a chicken flavored rice, whatever. We're gonna follow the directions on the package of this, which is two tablespoons of butter. This out of the way. And you cook the vermicelli in here. And then we'll just get that started there while I show you the pomegranates. It's very easy to do the pomegranates. Here's our hot water. We're gonna put in there. So it's the package instructions, the two tablespoons of butter, you cook the rice, uh, you sort of brown it a little bit. We're gonna add water, the seasoning packet to that. And then we're also gonna put in some toasted pine nuts at the, near the end. These are the pomegranate um, arils. I'll show you how to get out a little bit of green onion and some shredded Parmesan cheese. Okay. Now the pomegranates, all you do is score it with a knife And you're going to score it with a knife. Let me get a bowl of water here. All right, so you, no, not, that's not cool enough. Since you um, don't want to squirt these all over the place, we're going to do it in a bowl of water. So you're just going to score the outside like I've done here. Don't need to cut through it necessarily, just kind of score it. And then put it in your thing of water, your bowl of water, and just sort of peel it back. Let's start in here. As you can see, this is the opening part. You know, the that's it opens like that. You just peel it off. You want to just sort of Flick these seeds off of here, the, off of the little white membrane. And drop them in the water. They're not, it's not very hard to do. Just a little, takes some time. Whoops, there goes one. And you're going to, like I said, just flick them off. Can everybody see? There's not, not much to it. You don't have to do a lot of pulling to get them away from the white membrane. Now in here, you'll see, let me get this, stir this rice here. You'll see as I'm working with the pomegranate, the arrows or the seeds are falling to the bottom and the membranes floating on top. So when we get this all done, and like I said, it takes some time. It's fun for the kids to do. Be careful because they do, they will stain. But they're full of antioxidants and pomegranates are supposed to be really, really good for you if you drink juice. Now you can squeeze these into juice. <laughs> Just buy the juice. <laughs> you know. To me, if you're going to do all this work and then squeeze them into juice and there's a bottle of juice sitting there, then just get the bottle of juice. And you can, you know, pomegranates are not available all year long. This is the best time to buy them. They can, they've, been in, they've been in about three weeks, I think. But what you can do is do this, dry them off, keep them in the refrigerator, or they can even be frozen. And these, they're a little sweet. We'll, I'll let you um, taste them. We'll put them out. They're, they're sweet. They're, they do have seeds in them if you have that, that uh, problem where you have to stay away from seeds. Because that, that is what they are. But I like them. It makes a nice little snack. Like I said, they're very healthy for you. Ooh, we're burning our rice. 
But ooh, that doesn't smell good. Okay. Saved in the nick of time. All right. We're going to add our water. Since this water isn't real hot now, it's going to fly up. Two and a half cups of water. All right, and our seasoning packet. I'm gonna put a lid on this. We'll let it boil it, boil it down for a little bit. Oh, we finish this. Okay. Now the. Um, the pomegranates, I believe, are down there now are about two, 250 each, which seems like a lot, but you do get a lot of seeds out of this. I got a, um, I already took a cup of seeds out of here. So you can see how many are left. And like I said, I think this makes a, a really great snack. Just sitting there eating it, so you're eating fruit. Um, Good for you. Okay. Since we've got time, we can do this. All right. I've even seen a recipe, you can use these in any like, um, uh, for a little Christmas um, garnish, because it look, you know, it has a really pretty red color. Um, I've even seen a recipe for these and I thought it'd be kind of fun to, and you can just drain off. So. there you know there might be a little bit left but for the most part you got it now if you if you're gonna try the dipping in chocolate and I would just use dipping chocolate with this make sure you dry them you don't want to add these wet ones to um, chocolate because you'll ruin your chocolate and have big mess. All right, so there's our pomegranate. Like I said, you get a lot out of this. I've already taken a cup out of here, so uh, that's quite a bit. All right, while we're waiting for this, and then we're just going to add this and uh, the rest of this ingredients, the Parmesan cheese, the green onion, whew, the pine nuts, and the um, pomegranate aerials. Let's stir it out a little bit. After about 10 minutes, also, and this has been sitting for a little bit, so you're losing a little bit of the color of the pomegranates. But there is our uh, rice pilaf with pomegranate and pine nuts.